Hello booktube, my name is Adrian, and welcome back to my channel. So before we get started in this video, I just want to mention that yes, I know this angle is very different than what I normally have been filming at in front of my bookcase. Uh, part of that is mostly due to the fact that I am eight months pregnant and I have no desire to set up my filming setup in front of my bookcase and then have to tear it down again just to set it back up later. But I have set up this little corner so that I don't have to tear down my filming setup. I can just film and not have to uh, reset up or take a lot of time. When I'm done being pregnant and healed and from delivery and all of that stuff, I will go back to filming in front of my bookcase. But uh, for now, this is the corner you get. Maybe I'll decorate this little corner at some point, uh, but for now, it is just very plain, basic corner. Um, the other thing I want to address really quickly is that I know I have not had very many videos in the month of September, and I apologize for that. Uh, the big excuse is actually that I lost my camera, and I had no way to film. <laughs> my camera was completely missing for several weeks. Turns out, my son was hiding it from me. Don't know why, but he got a hold of it and hidden it, and I finally found it. So we're back to filming, and I am going to be putting the camera in a place where he can't reach it, <laughs> um, so he can't hide it from me anymore. Yeah, I think that's all of the updates and things that I wanted to address before we got into this video. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about what this video is. Uh, if you haven't seen the title, that's fine. It is Tuesday, which means I have a Tag Tuesday video for you guys. And today I'm going to do the finally fall book tag because fall is my favorite season. It's not too hot, it's not too cold. I can finally wear sweaters, which are like my favorite accessory. Where I live, we're still in a hot spell for some reason, and it's not quite sweater weather yet, and it's frustrating. But I am so excited because apple cider becomes like a drink that I can consume and not be judged for uh, consuming. I don't like pumpkin spice, I don't like pumpkin anything really, but I love apple cider and I love just apple decor and fall colors and I just love everything about fall. So I decided that we were going to do the Finally Fall book tag, which was created by Tall Tales here on YouTube. I will link her channel down below for you to go check out. But uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this tag. Question number one, in fall, the air is crisp and clear. Name a book that has a vivid setting. For this, I think I'm going to go with Magnolia by Christy Cook. I love this book very much. Um, when I read it earlier this year, I gave it five out of five stars, I believe. This book takes place in Mississippi and I grew up in Alabama, which is not too far from Mississippi. And uh, the setting and the places described were very vivid and very descriptive and it kind of took me back to Alabama which has a very similar kind of vibe to it. So I definitely love this book and the setting. So uh, yeah, definitely this one. Question number two, nature is beautiful but it's also dying. Name a book that is beautifully written but deals with some tough topics such as dying or grief. For this one, I chose a book that I feel like I've talked about in every video I've posted since I read it, and that is The Names They Gave Us by Emery Lord. I adore this book. It is a very sad book. Um, I mean, this book is about a girl whose mother is diagnosed with cancer for the second time, and so you know it's just going to be a very hard book to read, but it is beautifully written. The story is beautiful. I love everything about it. I will gush about this book forever, so I'm going to stop here so that that doesn't happen. <laughs> Question number three. Fall is back and so is school. Share a nonfiction book that taught you something. For this one, I chose The Hiding Place by Corey Ten Boom. As you can see, this book is really beat up. It's missing pieces. There's a whole chunk missing out of the back cover. I had to read this book, I believe, in maybe seventh or eighth grade, and this book is about the Ten Boom family and Corey specifically telling the story about how they were a part of the anti-Nazi underground hiding Jews in their home uh, to save them from the Nazis and going getting shipped off to concentration camps. Um, ultimately, Corey and her family do get caught and actually get sent to concentration camps themselves, uh, including some of the biggest concentration camps. Um, you know, it, that were the biggest names in the concentration camps. And it's her story of growing up and 
you know going through this experience and i love this uh book so much it did teach me a lot about nazi germany actually it wasn't even germany in holland during the nazi regime and it was just a really good book and i loved everything about it and i have clearly read this book a lot of times and i would like to read it again i think um but yeah this was definitely a non-fiction book that taught me a lot Number four is in order to keep warm, it's good to spend time with the people we love. So name a fictional family, household, or friend group that you would want to be a part of. For this one, I chose the selection by Kira Cass. The group of girls in the, over the course of the selection series, uh, if you don't know what this is about, it's basically like The Bachelor where a bunch of girls get picked to go and uh, go through a competition to ultimately become the princess and the queen and marry the prince. The prince has to choose them. There are 35 girls that get chosen initially and it eventually gets whittled down to 10. That group of girls I think would be a great group to have because as we progress through this series they become very close and even though they're competing against each other they just they become like best friends and so I think that they would be a very good friend group uh, to spend time with and to be a part of. Number five, the colorful leaves are piling up on the ground. Show us a pile of fall colored book signs. I don't have a whole lot of books that I consider super fall themed, but I did find these. Number six is fall is the perfect time for telling stories by the fireside. Share us a, share a story and where someone is telling a story. For this one, I picked The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adihe. Uh, if you do not know what this book is about, it is a retelling or inspired story of A Thousand and One Nights, and basically the main character saves her own life, prolongs her life, by telling the king of this land a story every night and not finishing the story every night. So this is a, a good one. I definitely love this duology very much, so I would definitely recommend this as well. <laughs> Number seven is nights are getting darker. Share a creepy dark story. I don't read a whole lot of spooky, scary books. Um, they're just not my taste. But I will say the scariest book I have ever personally read has got to be House by Ted Decker and Frank Peretti. This book gave me nightmares for a long time. And then I watched the movie uh, adaptation of this book and that also gave me nightmares. I don't think the movie was probably as good looking back, but this book was absolutely horrifying. It's a psychological suspense, paranormal thriller mess of a book. I don't even know what to call it, but it was scary. And um, I wonder if I should probably reread it because I think the last time I read it, I was 14. So it's been almost 10 years since I read this book, but it was definitely the scary, to this day, the scariest book I've ever read. Number eight is the days are getting colder. Name a book that could warm up someone's cold and rainy day. For this, I chose Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill. This is just a very short contemporary book. It's very light, kind of silly, romantic, fluffy, goofy kind of story. And I really like this book a lot. Um, I need to reread it because it's been a long time since I've read it, but I definitely, 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 definitely enjoyed this one. And it's pretty short. It's only like 300 pages, not even just like 290 pages. Yeah, exactly 290 pages. It's pretty short, pretty quick to read through, and I definitely enjoyed this one. And I think it would be a good kind of lighthearted, heartwarming read. Number nine, fall returns every year. Name a old favorite that you would like to get back into again. For this, I will have talked about this book before on my channel. For this one, I think I want to do The Master's Match by Tamala Hancock Murray. I love this little book. It's super short, you know, quick little read. I love it. It's one of my all time favorite books and I haven't reread it in a couple of years. So I definitely want to read, read this at some point, hopefully maybe around Christmas time because I believe if I recall correctly, it takes place in the winter. So I think I might uh, get reread this one closer to Christmas time, but I definitely want to get back into this book this in the very near future. Number 10, fall is the perfect time for cozy reading nights. 
share your favorite cozy reading accessory. Now, this may seem a little bit weird because I am a grown woman, but my favorite reading accessory is probably going to be this blanket. Uh, this is a Thomas the Train blanket. No, this is not my son's. I got this in high school when, uh, well before I was married or had kids or anything like that, I got this blanket. It's super soft. It's so comfy. It's just the right size to just have in your lap and be cozy with. And I love this blanket. I have not been able to find a blanket that is as soft and as comfortable as this one since I have been looking. But this blanket is absolutely the best. I actually never watched Thomas as a kid, but now that I have a kid, he's obsessed with Thomas, so it works out because he uses this blanket as well. But this is absolutely my favorite uh, cozy time accessory. I just like to curl up on my, I have a big round circle couch in the basement and I love to just sit down there with this blanket in my lap, wrapped around my lap, my legs and read. And I have a favorite mug as well that I like to read you to use when I read. Unfortunately, I left it at my parents' house, so I don't even have it to show you, but uh, I'll be getting it back here very soon. But yes, this is absolutely my favorite reading accessory, even if it is a little bit childish. <laughs> and the last one is, of course, the typical tag question, which is spread the autumn love and tag some people. Um, I'm going to tag Paige Screen Taylor if she has a chance to do this. I would love for her to do it. and and also live with books, both fabulous YouTubers that I absolutely love watching and you should absolutely go check out their channels. I will link them both down below and I hope that uh, they're interested in doing this tag and that maybe we'll do it. Um, if any of you are interested in doing this tag as well, please feel free and uh, yeah, I will see you guys later on. I post videos every Friday and then either Tuesday or Wednesday and uh, yeah, that's all I have for this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.